Hello, ladies and gentlemen from around the world. What's going on? This is Jeremy Alexander Newsom with Real Life Trading. I hope you're doing absolutely phenomenal. It's Friday. I mean, come on. You got to be doing great, right? Weekend's coming up. I'm excited for it. I don't have anything massive planned for this weekend or necessarily next weekend, but in about two weeks, headed to the Bahamas for a buddy's bachelor party and uh, going down to the cruise. And no, no, there's a rumor out there. It's not my bachelor party. <laughs> Get that out your head. To friends. Uh, so we're going to go down there, have a good time, hang out, and it's going to be a blast. Uh, looking at the market, so we got a cute little move down today, and I love it. I think this is a phenomenal move, actually. Uh, really nice little pullback, uh, and just kind of an update. You know, this is subject to volatility changes throughout the day, but right now it's about 11.30 my time, and uh, I, I like it, right? We got a little bit of a lower shadow. Looks like this is some type of flag pattern of some kind. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight white candles in a row. So we'll probably get a small black candle either Monday or Tuesday. But my thought is this is a, a good bounce. This is a pullback. And I'm looking to go long on SPY. If we get a little bit of sideways movement and then continue bullish, uh, again, I'm still bullish on SPY, at least bullish to non directional. Uh, this bull put spread, the 196, 197, February week four. No issues down there, and uh, we did unravel the 211-212 bear call, also expiring next week, so we'll keep an eye on that and see how that plays out. The QQQ, uh, a lot of trades on the Qs. We did decide to move up the protective put. We got triggered in bullish at 104.62 directionally, and uh, we moved the protective put up from approximately 102 and some change to right about 106.05, and just letting the Qs continue to do their thing, being led by stocks uh, like Twitter, which is doing very, very nice today. It's doing much, much better. We're going to be moving up our protective put and our stops on Twitter very soon. Um, the 45 put sale for uh, Twitter that we did not too long ago, that expires today as well. Uh, Amazon's kind of leading the queues charge as well. Amazon, nice little candle. Coming into the 10 exponential moving average, expecting that to bounce just a little bit higher. So let's hop over to the DIA. DIA, same type of thing. We traded to resistance. We got a little bit of a gap down. Nice buying candle. And I would love for us just to pound this resistance out like Mike Tyson. Uh, let it do this thing. And then if it pops, again, I'm uh, without question more bullish than bearish. And on the IWM, same thing, ladies and gentlemen. Same exact thing. Nice little pullback today to the 10. Buying pressure's coming in. Uh, I don't really see any drastic change at this particular point uh, to be more bearish than bullish. So I'll stick to my more bullish than bearish sentiment at the moment. Hopping over to, uh, let's see, a few other things. Facebook, uh, one of my boys, Johnny Howlett, got himself into an 84 covered call, expiring March week two on Facebook after yesterday's pop. Uh, we had a uh, put sale, a 72 put sale, expiring today. Uh, Ray Rue uh, had a 65 March put sale, that he um, just went ahead and bought to close after more or less became worthless after earnings. He got himself into a 74 March week two put sale expiring, well, March week two. And uh, we also kind of legged into a bear call spread up here on Facebook. And uh, what we did end up doing, we had a bear call spread and we legged into a bull put spread just the other day, completing the iron condor and uh, exited that bull put spread I'm sorry, the bear call spread yesterday on the pop right around here for break even. So overall, after commissions, kind of like a break even, null and void trade, uh, which is fine. I mean, hey, if you got to mitigate your risk, you got to do it however it comes to uh, comes to fruition. Apple, cute little pennant today. I love it, looking sexy. I want to trade sideways for a little bit longer, and uh, there it is. I mean, there's the pennant, right? If it breaks in the direction of the trend, next target on Apple is approximately... 133.28 and then maybe as high as 142.17 but that'll take likely a few months to play out we have a 125 124 bull put spread expiring today as well that we got into wednesday on weekly's wednesday jay newall's got some put sales ron mckee um, richard karasik a few others all kinds of traders on apple doing quite well and that's awesome walmart Walmart was a really good gap yesterday, nice little bearish play, and today it gapped down and got bought right off the 100 simple, shocking, and my boy, Dean Chance, who I'm actually going on the cruise with, 
Uh, he got himself into some uh, Walmart today on that pullback because this really is a good support area, right? You have the 8136, you have the 100, you have this gap action right there. And if you go into a weekly chart, you can kind of see it pretty nicely as well. Here's the weekly. So the weekly uh, almost looks like an ugly head and shoulders. I'll give you that. But the weekly chart, you know, you have a really, really strong resistance. Here's the distribution phase that you know really lasted for over a year. And uh, we broke out. I think this is a little bit of a longer term retest. I'm not saying we're going to go massively bullish, but a little bit of cute sideways move into here and then some type of bounce uh, would be pretty overall, in my opinion. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much for watching uh, this Friday Real Life Stock Review. I'm keeping my eyes on BAX. I am in a bearish day trade today and hoping it kind of rolls over just a little bit. Right now, it's looking like it's coming up to test this wick, and uh, hopefully it'll fail. Probably do something like this and maybe roll over again in the afternoon. So keep your eye on BAX. It looks more bearish and bullish overall uh, for the day trade, but I'll be keeping a close eye on it. And we'll see what else we can find in the third hour. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. I'll see you later. And until then, remember, love life, live life, and trade it. See ya.